In Qing Dynasty, the Empress' daughter was called the Gu Lun Gongzhu, the Princess of the First Rank. He Shuo Gongzhu, the Princess of the Second Rank, was the daughter of the consort, or the fourth daughter of the Emperor. If the Emperor loved He Shuo Gongzhu very much, he could promote her to Gu Lun Gongzhu. But the more common situation that He Shuo Gongzhu got promotion was the government needed them to marry with Mongolian nobles. Generally, the prince's husband was called the Fu Ma, but in Qing Dynasty, the husband of princess was called the E Fu. The Emperor Qianlong passed away at 89. During his life, he totally had 10 daughters. Only five of them grown up, and three of them passed away before 23. When Qianlong passed away, only Qianlong's youngest daughter was still alive. Qianlong's oldest and third daughters were born by his beloved wife, the Empress Xiao Xian. Their first daughter died at one year old without name. Their second daughter, Gu Lun He Jing Gongzhu, the Princess He Jing of the first rank, was Qianlong's favorite daughter. She was the longest living princess in Qing Dynasty. In 1747, the 16 years old Princess He Jing was arranged to be married with a Mongolian noble. Usually, if the princess married with Mongolian noble, she should leave the capital and stayed in Mongolia. But Qianlong loved Princess He Jing so much, he couldn't imagine his beloved daughter lived far away from him. So Qianlong kept Princess He Jing and her husband staying in Beijing. Although Princess He Jing stayed in Beijing, but her annual compensation was the same as the princess who lived in Mongolia. Princess He Jing had a good relationship with her husband, which hardly happened in Qing Dynasty princess marriage. Princess He Jing and her husband at least have five kids. In 1792, when Qianlong was 81 years old, Princess He Jing passed away at 62. Qianlong's second daughter was born by the imperial noble consort Zhe Mi. This little princess died at eight months without a name. Qianlong's fourth daughter was born by the imperial noble consort Chun Hui. Princess He Jia was raised by Qianlong's mother, the Empress Dowager Chongqing. Qianlong really liked this daughter. In 1760, when Princess He Jia was 15 years old, Qianlong chose the Empress Xiao Xian's nephew, Fu Heng's second son, Fu Long An, as Princess He Jia's husband. Three years after marriage, Princess He Jia gave birth her only kid, a boy called the Feng Shen Ji Lun. In 1767, Princess He Jia passed away at 23. After her death, Qianlong was really sad. He extended his love to Princess He Jia's only kid. When Feng Shen Ji Lun was 13 years old, Qianlong gave him the same compensation as Feng Shen Ji Lun's father. Qianlong's fifth daughter was born by the step empress. She died at two years old without a name. Qianlong's sixth 
and eight daughters were born by the noble consort Xin. Unfortunately, none of them grew up. The sixth princess died at three years old. The eighth princess died at ten. Qianlong's seventh daughter and the ninth daughter were born by the Empress Xiao Yichun, and both of them grew up. When Princess He Jing was born, Qianlong needed to reward a Mongolian noble, Cheng Gun Jia Bu. So Qianlong decided to arrange a political marriage for Princess He Jing and Cheng Gun Jia Bu's son. In 1770, Princess He Jing was 14 years old and was ready to get married. Because at that time, Princess He Jing's biological mother was still the consort, she should get the second rank princess title. But Qianlong wanted to show his friendship with the Mongolian noble, so he gave Princess He Jing the first rank princess title. But Princess He Jing's annual compensation was still the same as the second rank princess. In 1775, the princess He Jing passed away at 20 without any kids. He Shu He Ke Gongzhu, the princess He Ke of the second rank, was Qianlong and the consort Ling's second daughter. But she was raised by Qianlong's consort Shu. Qianlong seems didn't like her. First, Princess He Shu's daughter was the least in all Qianlong's daughters, even less than Qianlong's fourth daughter. Princess He Ke got her second rank princess title one year before her wedding ceremony. In 1795, Qianlong posthumously promoted Imperial Noble Consort Lin to the Empress. Normally, as the daughter of the Empress, Princess He Ke should be promoted to the first rank princess, even though she already passed away. But Qianlong didn't promote her. So, in Ho Qing Dynasty, Princess He Ke was the only princess who grew up and whose biological mother was the empress, but didn't get the first rank of princess title. Princess He Ke was married with a high-level government officer's son when she was 14. After marriage, he gave birth a daughter and passed away at 22. Qianlong's youngest daughter, Gu Lun He Xiao Gongzhu, the Princess He Xiao of the first rank, was born by Qianlong's consort Dun. She was Qianlong's last kid. When Princess He Xiao was born, Qianlong was already 64 years old. She was Qianlong's favorite daughter. When she was 10 years old, Qianlong gave her the second rank princess title. Because Qianlong loved her very much, two years later, Qianlong promoted her to the first rank princess. Qianlong loved Princess He Xiao because her appearance and personalities really liked Qianlong. Princess He Xiao always wore man's dress and hunted with Qianlong. Qianlong once said, if Princess He Xiao was a prince, he would pass the throne to her. When Princess He Xiao was 14 years old, she was married with Feng Shen Yinde. Feng Shen Yinde's father, He Shen, was Qianlong's favorite government officer and have really bad reputations. In 1796, 
Qian Long passed away five days after Qian Long's death. Jia Qing arrested He Shen and confiscated all his assets. Although Jia Qing gave Princess He Xiao some money to support her life, but this money wasn't enough to support Princess He Xiao's big family. Princess He Xiao didn't give birth any kids. Her husband Feng Shen Yinde had two daughters with his concubines. In 1833, the Princess He Xiao passed away at 48. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.